Hey guys, Magnox Pie here, and welcome back to another episode of Kyle is Famous. Kyle is a detective. I'm not as sick as I was yesterday. So, you know, fun. Still a bit congested. But at least I don't feel like death. Uh, let's see. Become a detective. Kyle of course, we skip through the today. intro. We start our day. Okay, we scavenge. Kyle ah, I quickly hit the mic. down on the floor, realizing his immediate need for detective Baskin. Kyle lay in the middle of his room, spread his arms wide, and just kind of basked in being a detective. Huh. After a moment, Kyle was done basking. He continued with his day. Be a detective in the kitchen. Kyle spread his arms wide and basked greatly in being a detective. Huh. It felt wonderful. It felt right. Kyle knew that being a detective was the right thing to do. Kyle put his hands down and stopped basking in being a detective. Hmm. Kyle spread his arms wide and absolutely basked in being a detective. He began to spin, it's also loving naked every all second this. of the time he spent basking. From basking about being a detective too much, Kyle melted. Hmm. Suddenly, as a pile, Kyle was no longer able to be a detective. Kyle sadly decided that he would have to give up on his ravenous want to serve the city and instead fight to survive as a sticky inhabitant. Kyle lived his days as a puddle, buying groceries, visiting with friends, and taking Sunday naps. It was a tough life, but a fulfilling one. Kyle made friends, paid bills, and donated to charity. He never forgot his dream of inspiring the city with his detective skills. But Kyle remained a melted individual forever. Interesting. Kyle... Kyle... Today... Let's get Kyle. our clothes Kyle. back to the room. We exit to the city hall. And then we will go to this. Kyle. Mayor Tom sat behind his desk. He had been expecting Kyle's appearance. Interesting. Detective Kyle, said Mayor Tom, I am glad you are here today. Our city is plagued with villainy and crime. However, there are but a few investigations worthy of your time. Hmm. Mayor Tom placed a few pieces of paper on the desk in front of him. Kyle rifled through the cases to decide which he would investigate this evening. Murders by Jerry the Hot Dog Boy. Kyle nodded. There's no question. I know exactly what mystery to investigate this evening. Mayor Tom looked at Kyle sadly. Excellent. All of our hope is riding on you. Oh, fun. Don't let us down. Kyle exited Mayor Tom's office to prepare for his evening of investigation. Hmm. It was time to investigate the alleged crimes of Jerry the Hot Dog Boy. It was a very rainy oh. night. Just as the sun left the sky, Kyle arrived at the scene of the crime. Mayor Tom and his secretary were standing inside a tape-marked perimeter. They were looking at a face-down body surrounded by hot dogs. <laughs> what? Photographers recorded the scene. Neighbor Gabby stood outside the circle, watching idly. Good 
evening, Detective, said Mayor Tom. I hope you're prepared to start your investigation. Kyle nodded solemnly. I am prepared, Mayor Tom. Well, this is an incredibly important case to our city. I expect only the best from you. Kyle understood the gravity of the situation. Jerry the hot dog boy or otherwise, tonight someone would come to justice. After a couple minutes of other chit chat, Kyle decided to start investigating. Kyle grabbed the corpse by the ears and oh. hoisted it upwards. He began to peer deeply into the corpse's eyes. The corpse did not seem eager to respond to Kyle in any way. Let's slap it, because that a sounds like a good move, idea. Kyle brought his hand upwards and struck the corpse across the face. Hey, corpse! I need to talk to you! <laughs> Kyle continued slapping the corpse repeatedly. <laughs> oh, no. The corpse opened its mouth and swallowed Kyle. Oh, okay. Kyle had not noticed, but the corpse was actually a large, angry bear. Oh. Standing on its hind legs, the bear turned around and spit Kyle upwards. He crashed into the concrete, making a small crater. Kyle jumped to his feet. The bear had swallowed him. Kyle could do better. His pride was the on bear. the line. Kyle grabbed the bear and pushed it into oh, his he mouth, ate the aggressively bear. shoving it down his throat and into his stomach. After several minutes of struggle, Kyle managed to gain the upper hand. With one <sighs> final push, the bear was swallowed. Of course he ate the bear. A thick silence. He ate the bear, the that was a course. Kyle came out of his raging stupor. He looked at the crime scene. There was no corpse left to investigate. Kyle turned to Mayor Tom and the rest of the gathered individual. I'm sorry, everyone. He said, this one wasn't solvable. Kyle turned his back and walked away, leaving everyone else to sort out the details. Uh huh. Kyle entered a dark, rainy alleyway. Puddles were forming on the ground. Electric lights hummed. Kyle was isolated. Kyle knew he had given it his all on the investigation, and if he wasn't able to solve it, nobody could. Uh huh. Kyle looked to the sky. The murderer impersonating Jerry the Hot Dog Boy was still at large. Huh. We set to case. It was time to investigate. Skip options. After a couple minutes of other chit chat, Kyle decided to start investigating. Examine corpse. Kyle grabbed the corpse by the ears and hoisted it upwards. He began to peer deeply into the corpse's eyes. The corpse did not seem eager to respond to Kyle in any way. Give up. This is so impossible! Kyle threw the corpse on the ground and started stamping his feet. That sounds more like Kyle. Kyle started to run around the crime scene in frustration. Sounds like a toddler. Kyle circled around and around, kicking rocks out of his way and crying loudly. But Definitely quickly things got toddler. out of hand. Kyle began to run over objects and people within a close proximity of the crime scene. Hey, he did Kyle, not stop. Why? The corpse, Mayor Tom, Gabby, the photography equipment, and everything else fell victim to Kyle's tantrum. Soon, Kyle had flattened every person and thing around him, but his tantrum did not subside. In anguish, Kyle began to run outside of the crime scene, flattening everything in his path. Cars, businesses, buildings, cities, and soon continents were made flat before Kyle. Continent. Huh? Interesting. The world uh. entered an era of functioning solely in two dimensions. Being the last 3D object in existence, Kyle found it difficult to integrate with the new society. Kyle was no longer able to buy groceries, visit with friends, or take walks in the park. Kyle used his new free time to study detective methodologies and theories of crime busting. Uh. Kyle became a great detective and helped the flat denizens of the world solve many, many problems. Kyle had become a great detective. But through everything, Kyle felt a bit sad. The mystery of Jerry the Hot Dog Boy remained too hard to solve. Hmm. 
It was time. After a couple minutes of other chit chat, Kyle decided to start investigating. Kyle knelt on the ground and started scanning for any clues. There was very little to see outside the massive amounts of hot dogs. As Kyle continued to search, however, he uncovered something important. Kyle held up a note wedged under the body. It was covered in mustard stains and smelled like old meat. Hmm. Kyle began to read from the note. Hey everyone, my name is Jerry the Hot Dog Boy. I am a cold-blooded killer and this man is yet another one of my victims. I often kill people by bludgeoning them with my hot dogs. That sounds like a food theory. I wrote this note to make everyone aware that I am a cold-blooded killer. Next time you buy a hot dog from me, beware. Kyle stopped reading the note and looked at Mayor Tom. It seems, said Mayor Tom, that there's only one thing to conclude. Kyle nodded understandingly. Oh, okay. Either we're all the hot dog boy, or he doesn't exist and is just a scapegoat. Kyle finished Mayor Tom's thought. The only true answer is that Jerry the Hot Dog Boy doesn't actually exist. Everyone stared at Kyle, confused. Kyle, trying to illustrate the lack of Jerry the Hot Dog uh. Boy, shoved the note in his mouth and swallowed. Suddenly, there was no longer evidence to condemn Jerry the Hot Dog Boy. Everyone frowned. The group continued to look for evidence as the evening went on, but found nothing substantial. After a while, they decided that since Kyle had swallowed the evidence, they would do the next best thing and just blame it on him. Makes sense for this. Kyle was temporarily convicted of several hot dog-related murders. Kyle spent an afternoon in containment at City Hall, but eventually everyone got bored and let him out. But although Kyle was convicted of the crimes, the case of the Jerry the Hot Dog Boy murders went unsolved. The murderer was still at large. Hmm. It after Kyle nodded understandingly. We are all Jerry the Hot Dog Boy. Kyle finished Mayor Tom's thought. Yeah, that you're Jerry the Hot Dog Boy. Mayor Tom looked at Kyle, seemingly shocked. Don't worry, said Kyle. I'm also Jerry the Hot Dog Boy. Kyle started to pace. I first began to suspect something was amiss as soon as I read the note found under the corpse. Hmm. Why would it be there? What could it mean? And most importantly, who did it point to? Everyone looked at Kyle, completely flustered. You see, he continued, the only people that I've seen near this body in any way are us. We are all Jerry the Hot Dog Boy, and Jerry the Hot Dog Boy is the culprit. Uh-huh. Kyle, said Mayor Tom, you forget yourself. Were you not accepted as part of this detective agency under the condition that Jerry the Hot Dog Boy was never guilty? I cannot stand for this insult to the city. Think about what you've done. Kyle realized he had made a mistake. He looked at the assembled crowd. Many people were crying. They looked disappointed. That's not where I thought that question was going, but okay. I'm really sorry, everyone. I take it back, said Kyle. Can we all still be Jerry the Hot Dog Boy anyway? The mood brightened. Everyone began chatting excitedly about their new identities as Jerry the Hot Dog Boy. As the evening went on, the group continued to try to solve the mystery at hand, ignoring any possibility of Jerry the Hot Dog Boy being the guilty party. Somehow, in the shuffle, nobody noticed oh. the corpse slowly flip over, get on all fours, and crawl away. Not all was right in the city. Uh-huh. It was... After okay, a couple let's minutes pick of up other... hot dogs. Kyle began to pick up the pieces of hot dogs strewn around the crime scene. Each hot dog was an abnormal shape. Not quite tubular, although not round. In fact... No, thought Kyle. These don't look like hot dogs at all. In reality, there were no hot dogs present. Kyle was clutching the remains of the late Mini Kyle Brigade. What? 
Kyle stumbled backwards, shocked by his discovery. And yet, he was intrigued. Mini Kyle Brigade. Kyle felt very scientific. Wanting to measure the balance of the body parts clutched in his hands, Kyle chucked them at the concrete. The various parts of the mini Kyle splattered outwards, creating an unassuming stain on the ground. I have made a discovery, said Kyle. The mini Kyles do not bounce. Suddenly, Kyle was extremely curious. Oh Did boy. anything bounce? Kyle grabbed Mayor Tom and winged oh, to the no. ground. Mayor Tom did not bounce. Kyle grabbed every nearby person, desperately trying to find anyone that would bounce. Kyle began to enter nearby apartments, grabbing new participants from their showers and beds. Oh, no. Again and again, the concrete provided the same answer to Kyle. After many iterations, Kyle stopped. He looked at the pile of humans in front of him. Kyle believed he had truly enough information to make a scientific conclusion about this important problem. Humans don't bounce on concrete. I believe, said Kyle, that nobody bounces. Kyle left the crime scene, happy that he had contributed to the scientific community. Uh-huh. Over the next few years, Kyle continued his scientific endeavors. Kyle became a figurehead of new scientific research, publishing paper after paper, each providing a new take on reality. The case of Jerry the Hot Dog Boy was never solved. After a... Kyle began... And yet... Make conclusions. Kyle looked up from the tiny Kyles clutched in his hand. What I hold here, he said is the piece of information that brings this whole case together. It is obvious that the perpetrator must have something in common to the strewn bits of the mini Kyles. I think there is but a single person in the world that fits the evidence laid out before us. I believe that the only oh. possible culprit okay. is myself. <laughs> Kyle wondered how he had managed to become the culprit without committing the crime, but trusted the evidence completely. As a way to express his conclusions, Kyle began to shoot more mini Kyle corpses out of his eye sockets. The crime scene began to fill with the limbs and torsos of the mini Kyles, creating piles of flesh everywhere. The mini Kyles began to reassemble piece by piece, snapping their joints together and sewing their flesh into clots. Huh. Soon, a small army of mini Kyles had assembled, wielding bits of trash found on the ground and angry grimaces. Kyle thought that, since he was now a convicted felon and all, he might as well become their leader. Oh, God. Kyle urged his mini-army to overtake the present onlookers, looting their pockets for wallets and snacks. The Kyle army began a rampage around the city, committing petty crime against anyone they could find. Eventually, Mayor Tom installed coin-operated Kyle mashers on every street corner to slowly diminish the flow of mini-Kyles. Hmm. Once all the mini Kyles were gone, Kyle decided to go back to his career as a talk show host and forget about his detective work. The hot dog case remained unsolved. Okay then. We changed jobs. We become a detective. We skip that. Today. We start the day. We open our closet. We choose an Kyle outfit. We get our detective hot. garb. We go to the kitchen. Let's grab our taste testing helmet. Kyle grabbed the tasting helmet and put it over his head. Oh, I'm sorry. I added taste testing. I added a word. Return to hallway. Enter the hall to go to the mayor. Kyle, mayor we get the uh. May wow. Kyle Rife. Murders of. Kyle right nodded. There. There's no question. I know exactly what mystery to investigate this evening. Mayor Tom looked at Kyle sadly. Excellent. All of our hope is riding on you. Don't. Kyle. Okay, now we skip to the end of the day. It was. Skip to options, After... pick up hot Kyle. dogs. She turned out to be yeah. mini Kyles. And yet, Examine with place. Kyle realized he must use every human sense to figure out the mystery of the mini Kyles. Kyle grabbed a handful of the Kyles and gave them a large lick. Hmm. 
the mystery remained unsolved. Kyle began to chew thoughtfully on a handful of his heads, wondering what secrets they held for him. The mini Kyles were delicious, but held no secrets to Kyle. Kyle suddenly became really curious if he tasted oh, the same no. as the mini Kyles Why? did. Kyle's face stretched outwards, his mouth twisting around and swallowing itself from the outside. <laughs> Kyle found himself absolutely irresistible. Oh boy. Kyle began a cycle of contorting and stretching through himself, swallowing himself over and over. Within minutes, Kyle resembled a wriggly, dripping mass of teeth and inside-out flesh. Kyle continued to swallow himself throughout the night and into the morning. Kyle had fallen into the psychological trap of addiction. Oh. Kyle was sent to therapy for his addiction. Over the next several years, Kyle was slowly weaned off from continuing to swallow himself. After many trials and relapses, Kyle was eventually able to recover and begin life as a new man. However, Kyle never managed to untangle his many, many layers of being inside out. Hey. Kyle thought very... Kyle, today... Kyle decided to spend some time gathering information from the locals roaming around downtown. Kyle decided that if anyone would be able to advise him about his mysteries, it would be the puppies. <laughs> After a couple minutes of looking, Kyle found a couple young mothers clutching small dogs over their shoulders. He knelt down and crawled forward, keeping out of eyesight of the mothers. Soon, Kyle was close enough to be able to talk to the puppies. Kyle thought about what question he would like to ask them. Kyle quietly picked up both puppies and stored them in his pocket for later questioning. He slowly crawled away from the chatting mothers and back to the downtown area. Kyle... Kyle... Mayor Tom looked at Kyle sadly. Excellent. All of our hope is riding on you. Don't let us down. Sorry guys, I had to sneeze. A lot. It, it's not fun. Kyle exited Basically, Mayor Tom's office we to stole puppies, we went to the mayor hall, got the case about Jerry and his hot dogs, and now we're gonna release the hot the puppies onto the corpse. Because, you know, that makes total sense. It was after a Kyle. He, the corpse did not seem. Kyle dropped the corpse on the ground. He reached behind him and grabbed the puppies. He gently put them on the ground. Frantically, the puppies crawled toward the corpse at lightning speed. Uh huh. The puppies crawled into the oh. corpse's mouth and began investigating from the inside. Huh. They gathered information about the corpse. They took notes of the findings. They compared clues. Eventually, they were finished. They crawled out of the corpse to give Kyle their findings. Kyle picked the puppies back up and listened closely as they talked in his ear. The puppies, said Kyle, believe that this is actually a bear. Everyone gasped. <gasps> so, said a photographer, does that mean there is no crime? Kyle consulted with the puppies, then nodded solemnly. It seems so, he said. I believe that our work here is done. It was decided to just leave the bear where it was until morning and see if it was gone. Kyle took the puppies back to their owners. He explained what an excellent job they had done at the crime scene. Both sets of parents were elated that their pets had been so helpful. They uh. each gave Kyle a hug. Uh huh. Kyle returned home, but on his way, he passed the place where the bear had been. It was missing, seemingly having woken up and wandered away. 
So the bear gorged himself on many Kyle parts and then passed out, and they thought it was a murder. Kyle wondered what the bear meant, why it had been there, who had put it there. No answers came to him. It seemed to be a problem without much of a solution. Kyle shrugged and walked away to spend his evening relaxing. But from a bush in the shadows, a dark figure watched him. Hmm. Kyle's biggest mystery was yet to be solved. Kyle found a bear, apparently. Okay, we will end this episode of Kyle is Famous, Kyle is Detective DLC here. If you like it, hit the like button, want some more of my content, hit the sky button, notification bell, be my don't find whatever I upload. In the description, we like my Patreon, Twitch, Twitter, merch shirts, all that fun jazz, along with the game store page and the game devs link as well. I am sick. I really should just pre-record videos, but I'm doing this the night of... I'm doing this the night of the 5th, and I should have done it earlier so I could take more naps, but I'm not that smart. Anyways, bye guys.